Firewall Zero Hour is basically a first-person shooter done in the terms of VR, PSVR, using the aim controller. So what do you require to play Firewall? You will be requiring a PlayStation 4, you will require the aim controller and also the PSVR headset and camera. You can actually get the headset with the camera as a package and you can also get Firewall Zero Hour and the aim controller in a package as well. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly how you navigate around Firewall. As you log in you will be placed in your headquarters and you are given the selection of tutorial, training, contractors or the PlayStation Store and obviously options. You'll want to start off obviously with the tutorial. Right then, let's learn the basics of Firewall Zero Hour. Okay, so we are in a training Push simulation. Forward to move to the waypoint. So by using the left stick with my left hand, I'm able to push forwards and I can move. I can move side to side, backwards, and forwards, or at a diagonal angle if I need to. By moving my aim controller, I'm able to move the gun with my hands like this, up, down, to the side of me. And by moving myself, actually stepping forwards, you see my character moves forwards. And if I step backwards, my character moves backwards. I can also crouch. I'm actually crouching down now. And you can see my character actually crouches. So by pushing in the stick, I will sprint. Now in both VR games, this makes you feel quite icky, quite sick. Uh, on this one it doesn't, and it doesn't because if, as I move you'll see the sides come in and it produces like a black outline around the sides. Can you see that? It's like a black outline. And what that does is as it moves it reduces motion sickness. Um, and because of this I've been able to play Firewall for up to two, maybe three hours without feeling sick or dizzy at all. I would advise that you start on uh, stationary games where you're in a sitting position at the start. Uh, until you're more comfortable with the VR headset. So, as well as moving, as you can see I'm actually facing this way with my body, you can also move with the stick that's found on your right hand at the back of the gun, as shown on this diagram. Like this. Move forward to the waypoint. And again, this doesn't make you feel sick or dizzy, because it's moved in such a jerky motion that it doesn't it doesn't move your head in a way where you would become physically um, motion sick. Um, and also I can look above me if I need to and I can shoot. I can shoot behind me if I wanted to do something creative. You know, I could shoot like this if I wanted to do something quite creative. These are all ranges of motions that you just cannot do um, if you're not playing a VR game. You can't do that on Call of Duty. Um, you know, you can only do that on firewall. So if I want to interact with this, I can just hold X and that'll open the door. But if I wanted to have a quick look inside that door, just to see if there's anyone in there, I could do that. What they don't tell you as well is I can also stick my gun in the hole and I can shoot through here if I want to as well. These are all things, again, that you will not find in any other game except for firewall zero hour. Uh, the graphics on my headset are amazing. I can see all of these guns in, in absolutely glorious detail. But you, you can see this, I mean, what it looks like on your screen isn't, you know, the kind of quality that I can see. VR doesn't translate well to, um, like, visual, uh, because it only takes it from one of the optical Pull eyes. The trigger to fire your handgun at the target. Okay, so by pulling the aim trigger, I can aim. Press fire. Switch weapons. By pressing triangle I can have a bigger gun. With this gun you'll notice as I go into a scope mode a laser appears. Can you see it? I have to physically close one of my eyes and then I can see this laser and this is great because I can bring it up you know and get them kills that I want to get very easily with, without anything and I'm controlling this this is Press this is all me. So pressing square, I can reload the gun. Again, that feels very natural. 
target. So again, I'm I, I'm shooting like this with the laser, but I might want to shoot from the hip. I may want to shoot sideways. I may want to shoot upside down. Move right to the next These are point. all things that you can only do on a VR game like Firewall. And I can do the same up there. Throwing the grenade. Move right to the next waypoint. Okay. Press and hold L2 to activate the C4 icon. Okay, so this is the C4. Now the new contractor that they've brought out actually has the ability to hold two of these C4s. Uh, most contractors only have the ability to hold one. Now her skill can be at a certain level given to other people, but she starts off with it. So this is the C4. L2, move the controller to position the C4 icon on the door. So I could put the C4 on this side Release here L2 if I wanted. The C4 and move away from the door. Now it won't show up here now because it's in the tutorial, but I could place it there if I wanted to. I could place it on the floor if I wanted to at the door. Maybe I want it on the edge so they can't see it. So in this case, I'm going to just put it here above the uh, above the door hole. Press L2 to detonate the C4. Now, when having that, what I could do now is I could get into a position, say here, where I'm able to lean, physically lean, and point my gun. And then I would want to maybe detonate that C4 and shoot. So I could do that quite easily. And shoot straight through like that. Move through the door to the waypoint. And... That is the tutorial of Zero Hour Firewall, and I've been able to show you a few little things that aren't displayed within the tutorial, and hopefully that'll give you an insight on how it's so much different playing a VR first-person shooter than it is playing an actual a controller version of a shooter. The movement is just so much different, uh, and hopefully that's shown you a little bit more and maybe tempted you to get Firewall Zero. Over there, I'm going to flank him. Top coordinates are live. Multiple hostiles incoming. Time to earn your keep.